Mina, come on, Wad. Jesus, freaking gamer here. Bible's over there. Um, I'm probably gonna make another message today, just straight from the heart, or blah, another message from the Bible. The first one's the one straight from the heart. Just got done with uh, an hour of prayer. I personally spend one hour with God every single day. Most days is the most honest of statements. I mean to do it every day. And then there are some days where I'm just like, you know what? I'd rather play a video game, uh, or I'd rather sleep. Or I'd rather do something sinful and horrible. Uh, being very, very brutally honest here. And this week has been one of the more sinful weeks. It uh, has been one of the more selfish weeks. And I just got done with the hour of prayer. Uh, all the other stuff had been repented of. Uh, you know, took care of work today. Came home. Took care of responsibilities, blah, blah, blah. And did the hour of prayer. Ideally, I should be doing it first thing of the day. This time was at the end of the day, so I didn't even do it at the right time of the day. But the worship, oh my goodness, just, just listening to the praises of God. Uh, I personally, I really like Hillsong. Uh, my church does a whole lot of stuff from them, and I've listened to some of the music myself, and I just, I tend to have... I tend to really like that music. I've really, really fallen in love with it. Um, what a beautiful name. I surrender. The Creed. <clears throat> Carrie Job's Forever. I'm completely switching subjects. Uh, she's not with Hillsong. She's her own artist. But yeah, all these... There's the Passion Worship Band. There's some even uh, Christian rock bands like Disciple. And uh, Becoming the Archetype, where some of their songs, yeah, it's metal, yeah, it's hard rock, and I, I'll worship to that stuff. And just, I sometimes forget, in the middle of living my life, especially when I choose to do the sinful stuff that I've done over the past few days, sometimes neglecting, uh, neglecting reading the Word of God, spending that hour, of, hour in prayer that I like to spend with God every day, and some days I'm just like, eh. Used to be more consistent than I am now, and I need to get back to that. I can't think of a specific way to get back to that. What I can say is the worship was absolutely glorious. It was like <laughs> this is a lot of Christians uh, of the more conservative stripe, of uh, the old-fashioned type stripe, would not be comfortable with this analogy. But it was like a junkie who is like trembling because he hasn't had a fix in a really long time, suffering severe withdrawals, and he gets that hit, and just everything in him relaxes and is at peace because he finally got that hit, and just everything feels all right. The worship I had tonight was like that. It was this beautiful, glorious thing where I wasn't laboring in prayer. I know it's the hour of prayer, Work with me here. When my, hour, my hour of prayer is generally like Bible reading, Bible study, meditating on the Word of God, praying about people, praying about places, praying about events, praying about politics, praying about church, praying for my friends, interceding for those who need Jesus, who are going through a hard time in life. The hour, My hour of prayer, that 60 minutes, is an all-encompassing Jesus time. And a lot of the times it is laborious. I am tired at the end of those hours of prayer. Um, people who aren't Christians, and even some Christians aren't going to understand this, but when you get into intercessory prayer, when you start bearing those burdens of other people and other organizations spiritually, it is quite literally bearing a burden. It is quite literally fighting against demonic forces. And it, it's a fight. It is a burden. And it is tiring. It is hard. And sometimes I really don't want to do it. It's the honest truth. And tonight wasn't that. Tonight was a few basic prayers and reading the Word of God and just worship. And it was like a junkie getting a fix when they have been starved of one the entire week. It was beautiful. It was glorious. I, the last few days haven't been the funnest and haven't been the easiest. And a lot of the times when I go on camera, I try not to try not to gripe and I try not to complain. I reserve the right to possibly do that at some point in the future, especially if I have a prayer request because something in life isn't going well. But I try for the most part to just give you the Word of God, give you the truth, um, give you some Jesus. 
and give you that positive point regardless of how I feel because the truth of God is far more important than whatever temporary circumstance I'm going through. You know, tomorrow's another day. I'll get over it. You know, and next week's the next week. You know, if the entire week's been bad, more than likely I've got another week coming. There's a good chance things are going to change. But what really helped me this time was just getting my fix of God's presence, being close to Him, worshiping to Him. That's very, very close to the Psalms that we've been talking about. Just worshiping God, just being in His presence, just looking at Him, seeing Him for who He is, remembering how glorious and how big He is, and how all the problems of this life, and all the dumb crap I've known over the past few days, all that's forgiven, all that's done, all that's in the past, God's forgiven it all, He heard my confession, He saw my heart, He sees the intent to not want to do it again, even though I probably will mess up, to be completely honest. And he still loves me, he's still there, he's still good, he's still God, he's still on the throne, he's still glorious, he still reigns in majesty, splendor, and righteousness, and I got a glimpse of that in worship tonight. And just everything in me relaxed and was at peace. And it feels good. I feel like I am going to sleep so well tonight. I just feel, I feel so good. And I'm going to do a Bible message here in just a minute. There are going to be two messages today. And I just wanted to share this with you. I just wanted to be real with you for a minute. You know what? It's been a rough week. Most of it was my fault for me being stupid and walking in sin and not getting close to God like I should have. A A good chunk of that was my fault. But God came through. God's still there. He hasn't forgotten me or left me behind. Probably waiting for me to catch up. Like he always has and always will. So hopefully this has encouraged you. Hopefully this has uh, pushed you to seek him, to draw close to him. And guys, if you're not, if you're not worshiping him, if you're, you don't necessarily have to read the Psalms or sing the Psalms, but get involved in worship. Get involved in in praising and worshiping God. There is something powerful about His presence that we need as humans. There's an old saying, it's another drug reference, and I find it to be very true. There is no high like the Most High. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.